So one of our most frequently asked questions is whether or not the house is haunted. And the answer to that is, of course not. Our porch ceilings are painted in ink blue. Greetings from Fairfield. We are Richard and Kendra, and we are restoring this cool old Victorian house. We found this old Queen Anne for sale on the internet and decided to buy it. So we moved from the west coast to the cornfield of Iowa. So join us as we explore and restore this 1896 Victorian mansion. Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Fairfield and welcome back to the James A. Beck House. We're outside today and we're working on the side kitchen porch. Ever have one of those projects you wanted to do, but uh, you had to do a bunch of other projects to do before you could get to that one? Yeah, this is one of those. We actually have several porches all painted in blue. The back kitchen porch. The front of the house porch. It wraps all the way around from door to door. And then we got second floor. And third floor. Side porch, portico, portico. Also, more blue. Second floor, balcony, behind the porch tower top. One more, third floor balcony, which I've already started stripping this one. We were wanting to replace these box store special porch lights with something a little more period appropriate. But before I tell you that story, I need to tell you with what we found to replace them and how we found them. So there's a condemned house on the other side of town and likely to be demolished soon. I contacted the owner who doesn't live in town to see if it'd be possible to see the house and photograph it before it was demolished. The house has been abandoned, as far as I can tell, for about 20 years when uh, the last owner died uh, in the 1990s, and it was condemned, I believe, around 2018. Stories have it that the police showed up, pulled everybody out. Nobody's lived in this house for probably the last 20 years. Then I started researching its history. It was built in 1913 and was built by John Stever, who was related to the Ball family of our house, the second house owners, at that same time. And their photographs were still hanging on the wall. Uh, lots of stories of the house being haunted. It has a long history and, and past of being a nursing home back in the 1950s. With a lot of reported uh, deaths and strange unexplained hauntings to this day, though I didn't experience anything too unusual while I was there. 
this place was an absolute mess. Holes in the ceiling, rotted floors, plaster falling off the walls. I mean, at one time, it was a grand old house. Then, as we finished up touring the house, something caught my eye. Three matching porch lights. Which, coincidentally, we needed three replacements here at the house. So I made him an offer, and he agreed to sell them to me. And just like that, we have a new project. All right, we got a new project. And now that we got these things back, we need to get them cleaned up and get the uh, paint stripped off of these. The wiring was in really terrible shape. I'm surprised that house did not burn down. The, the wiring, the cloth wiring insulation was just completely shot. And these sockets, these sockets are not in the best of shape. Um, these things are pretty, pretty terrible. You can come see this. Come see this. These, th these things are just awful. All right. So after a little bit of initial cleaning here, we were able to identify what sockets we were going to need. This is a Perkins light socket from 1907. My choices here are kind of limited. I'm probably going to have to find some reproductions and find a different way of mounting them inside. But I thought I'd check eBay. And sure enough, I not only found exact matches of the Perkins company, but also from the same date of 1907, for six of them, which is the exact number I need, they mount the exact same way. They are brand new, never used, and they were cheaper than finding modern reproductions. I did end up finding uh, what I believe is the light in an old catalog from 1909, company is R. Williamson and Company, and it lists its original finish as brass. All right, so we need to get this stripped off. This uh, has a couple layers of black paint on it. We're gonna be stripping the paint off of these things. I've tried a couple of strippers on them already, have not had very good luck. So I'm gonna be trying Peel Away. Peel away for those that don't know. It's uh, kind of a thick paste, kind of like uh, like runny peanut butter, cake icing, I guess if you will. We're gonna ice a cake, so you basically spread it on, uh, spread it on the painted surface, and you put paper on it. You let it sit uh, 24 hours, and then you come back and peel it away. Uh, usually, the paint comes off with the paper this particular case and I have no idea why it kind of just turned this black old uh, paint that I thought was spray paint and it just sort of liquefied it. it it didn't really peel off like it normally does So I ended up just sort of wiping it down with uh, with some chemicals after that set on there. And it cleaned up pretty well after that. Uh, still, still cleaning them up and we're getting them rewired here with the new sockets. They fit fantastically. They're brand new. They still even had the original cardboard sleeves inside. Uh, un unbelievable. I went ahead and ordered some reproduction cloth insulated wiring. So in the exact colors that they were when they were originally done. So they are exactly identical to what they were in 1907.
Now, I could have just thrown it up there and called it a day, but where's the fun in that? The beadboard ceiling here had a ton of paint on it. I think it was like nine layers uh, where you couldn't even see the beads anymore in some places. And we weren't a big fan of the paint blue. So a little fun fact for those that may not know about why porch ceilings are painted blue. Two reasons. Reason number one, in simplest terms, is houses down in the south would paint their ceilings uh, blue to prevent the spirits and ghosts from returning to the house. And well, this is Iowa, and uh, when people ask us whether or not our house is haunted, I have to say no, but sometimes I wish it was. Number two, as a bug deterrent. So, in theory, the, the porch being plain, painted a sky blue would be a deterrent from bugs and insects and wasps, uh, getting it confused with the sky, I guess. But as it turns out, it was from a chemical in older paints, uh, lye, that would be the deterrent, something you don't find in modern paints today. And so, really, it's more of a, a modern trend that we see in uh, porch ceilings today. But these ceilings were actually never painted blue. And well, it looks like we have a new project. All right, I'm using the IR paint stripper. It's an infrared uh, heat system to heat the paint up, scrape it off. Don't have to worry about the lead paint vaporizing. Works similar to that of the Cobra for those familiar with that, but the Cobra is like a four inch box. This is almost 12 inches, so I get more length in uh, doing that beadboard. I also fabricated this little uh, acrylic spacer. So basically it goes on like that. And when I'm holding it up above my head, it's got a flat, even surface and spacing. So I'm not, you know, I don't have to worry about, uh, it also works better than a heat gun. So you don't have to worry about setting your house on fire. A few moments later, Two thousand years later. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two, day three, day four. A few moments later. One eternity later. Three days later. Twelve seconds later. Three twenty-eight a.m. Three weeks later. Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Eventually. Uh, 12 o'clock midnight. Two hours later. Meanwhile. 8.01 p.m. The next day. Later. 20 minutes later. Six hours later. Several bad puns later. All right, well, we made some pretty good progress so far and pretty pleased with the results. Uh, we still got to get some of the paint out of the... Uh, out of the beads, have a pretty good idea, solution for how we're gonna accomplish that. And so we need to get that stripped out before we can prime and paint and get our new porch lights back up. And with any luck, we will have that ready to go for next week's video. So until then. <laughs>